for students now we'll be working out the fourth problem so x company limited and y company limited have agreed to amalgamate and to form a new company called as z company limited which was which has taken over both the companies as per their balance sheet given below so x company and y company are called as transfer company and a new company called as z company is known as transfer company let us go through the items on the asset side of the balance sheet so land and building plant and machinery furniture investments stock data and bank so come to liability side this is a balance sheet of x company so share capital under that you have subscribed and paid up capital 5 lakh so reserves and surplus look at these two items students so they have given a general reserve and surplus so including general reserve and surplus in total you have two lakh development rebate reserve which is called as the statutory reserve creditors and base pay finally we have the balance sheet of y company limited so you have land and building plant and machinery patents furniture investment stock data and bank come to liability side so you have shares 8 lakh so which means that it is rupees 10 rupees is the face uh, face value general reserves and surplus and that you have general reserve and surplus so secured loans unsecured creditors and bills payable this is a simple problem students so let us go through the adjustment so prepare ledger accounts in the books of transferer companies and opening entries in the books of transferee company under amalgamation in the nature of merger so we have to prepare ledger accounts in the books of transferer company and opening entries in the books of transferee company so assume that development rebate reserve i as i told you this is called as a statutory reserve is continued in the transferee company so this is the only adjustments that are given in the problem so let us move on to the calculation of pc <coughs> so the first step is calculation of pc as you have already seen here there was no adjustments regarding the calculation of pc so then which is the method that we are going to follow so in this problem we are going to follow net asset method so as i have already discussed in the classroom the formula for calculating the pc and the net asset method it is nothing but assets taken over minus liabilities taken over so this is the calculation of pc so look into the calculation of pc students so here write two companies x company and so the next step is discharge of pc so x company and y company so nothing is mentioned so when the problem is silent we should assume that pc is paid in the form of equity shares of transfer e company so which is a transfer e company z company limited so for x company the pc is discharged in the form of equity shares of rupees 5 lakh and also 8 lakh now we have to prepare ledger account the third step is preparation of ledger accounts in the books of x limited so the first ledger account is realization account students so as you all know first item to be transferred is transfer of assets so realization account data to concerned assets account for these items you can just blindly look into the pc calculation so here whatever assets and liabilities that you have shown here same thing you have to write in the realization account also now come to uh, credit side so by like uh, liabilities can take a over so so by development reserve secured reserve secured loans etc and then for the pc due the general entry would be by z, z company account so 5 lakh this is the amount for pc due balance the account so you can just have a close look at this so here we don't have neither realization profit nor loss now come to purchasing company account so first we have to show the pc due what is the general entry purchasing company account data to realization account then we have to write the amount of pc received so pc is received in the form of shares so what is the general entry shares in z company account data to z company account file so now i will be discussing the ledger accounts that appear in the books of y limited as usual students first transfer the assets so the general entry will be realization account data to concerned assets account transfer all the assets that we have already shown in the calculation of pc and similarly transfer all the liabilities so the general entry will be concerned liabilities account data to realization account these are the liabilities that has been transferred and then the third general entry will be for pc due so the general entry will be z company account data to realization account the pc is rupees 8 lakh so if you just have a close look at this realization account even in this problem in, in the y limited transferer company account also there is neither profit or loss on realization
Now we'll move on to the purchasing company account that is X company Z company account. So first for the PC due, the general entry will be Z company account data to realization account 8 lakh. Then PC received. So the general entry is the PC is received in the form of shares. So general entry will be shares in Z company account data to Z company account amount is rupees 8 lakh. Now moving on to equity shareholders account. So first write the due amount students. So for the due, what is the general entry? Equity share capital account data to equity shareholders account. The amount is rupees 8 lakh. And then for the final settlement made to equity shareholders, the general entry will be equity shareholders account data to shares in Z company account. Just look into the due amount students, it is 8 lakh and the amount that you are paying is also rupees 8 lakh. That is why we didn't have neither realization profit nor loss. Now let us look into the opening entries in the books of transfer company that is Z company limited. The first general entry will be for PC due. So business purchase account data to liquidator of X company it is 5 lakh and liquidator of Y company it is 8 lakh. Second general entry would be for transfer of assets and liabilities or incorporation of assets and liabilities. So this is amalgamation in the nature of merger. So the balancing figure should be transferred to general reserve account. You just see here students, in the since the balancing amount is transferred to general reserve account, so don't write profit and loss account balance and reserves and surplus balance of so students, as I told you, this profit and loss account balance and reserves and surplus of X company and Y company should not be shown here because these two items are included in general reserve. Okay. So the third general entry would be for PC discharge. So the PC is to be paid to the liquidator of X company and Y company. So liquidator of X company account data and liquidator of Y company account data to equity share capital, it is 13 lakh. Now we will move on to balance sheet students. So balance sheet. So shareholders funds under that you have share capital. So issued, subscribed and paid at capital is rupees 13 lakh. You look into the opening entries. So equity share capital that is discharge of PC in the form of equity shares. How much is the amount? 13 lakh. So this is the amount of 13 lakh that is shown here. Now come to reserves and surplus. So development rebate reserve and general reserve. These two items again appears in the opening general entries wherein you have incorporated the assets and the liabilities. So these are the amount that you are supposed to write. Okay. Development rebate reserve and general reserve. Now come to non-current liabilities. So here also secured loans and unsecured loans. Look into the opening general entry students. Then come to current liabilities and provisions. So creditors and <coughs> this payable. Now come to asset side of balance sheet, you have non-current assets. So under that you have fixed assets, so land and building, plant and machinery, furniture, patents which you have already shown in the opening general entry, same amount you have to be, it should be written here. Then invest, 